With only six minutes to play, Dallas trailed by 18 points. There were tears in the eyes of Texas, but seldom was heard a discouraging word by the Cowboys themselves. Get it again, Dennis! It ain't no blitz. It ain't no blitz. There he is, Tony. In 1963, Roger Starbuck's legs won him the Heisman Trophy at the Naval Academy. Now, 15 years later, they served him well again. Starbuck and Tony Dorsett, number 33, gained most of the yardage in a furious eight-play, 90-yard drive. Starbuck passed to Billy Joe Dupree for a touchdown that cut the Steelers' lead to 11 points. Now here comes the onside kick. It comes to the left side, and the Steelers drop it, and the Cowboys recover. Dallas has the football at the 49-yard line. Dennis Thurman picked it up, and the Cowboys may still be alive. With only two minutes to play, Dallas needed two touchdowns to win. As they drove down the field again, it was an appropriate occasion to summon up the old cliches which salute gallant losers who play on for pride and self-respect when all hope for victory has vanished. But no, this was a team that truly believed it still could win. Starbuck takes the ball, now he's looking, pumps, throws, open man, touchdown. Score is 35 to 31 in Super Bowl 13. Again, Dallas broke through Pittsburgh's defense, but now they were caught in the deadly squeeze of the clock. 22 seconds on the clock. The Cowboys' remote chance for victory disappeared into the arms of Rocky Blyer. The Pittsburgh Steelers have become the first team in the history of the National Football League to win three world championships. 